One light trying to light up a whole huge cube, but couldn't do it. Today, thanks to Crow Quirk Technologies, we will make that happen. Oops, if I can get on this. Anyway, hey guys, I am Crow, and I would like to bring you the latest in Crow Corp technology. Of course, we have a giant hangar here, which can I specifically built to fit a large red ship in. So yes, if we go ahead and turn on our engines, unlock and fly forward, the door will open for us. Voila, as it slowly opens automatically. And we can fly out and enjoy the view. And yes, it's... If we go ahead and look behind us, we will now see that it's closing behind us. But how do we do that? We didn't push one button. What happened? Okay, it bounced, but yeah, it does that. <laughs> It'll close. So, yes, now we can go ahead and go on journeys. Now, because of how big this thing is, I couldn't actually get it to work. Like my first prototype did, where I flew to it. Of course, I didn't show that off, but if I, like, say, fly over this way... And then, I'm flying past the station, this way. If, yeah, this is a pretty slow ship, I used it to build the station. I'll talk about it later. So we fly this way, it should be open now. Yes, and then we can go ahead and fly back in, and it will close. So, fly this way. Won't close yet, but we have to go over here. Just fly down. Go ahead and park our ship. Turn the engines off and it will close automatically. So we can go ahead and run run over there. Try to. And it will close. Look at that. Oh god, no gravity here. Whoops. Forgot about that. There we go. It does bounce a little bit. There's the like the rotors are pretty bad. They're very, very weak. I had them like break a lot with like earlier prototypes and stuff. But this prototype seems to be working the best in ultra blackness. So after, I think it's after three balances, it settles to where if there was gravity here and you were standing here, you won't be able to see outside. That's why we have the one prong, two prong type thing. Almost. Okay, so like four balances. And now it is technically closed. There we go. So now it is impossible to see outside. So what's airtight sealed, I guess, in your way of thinking, I guess? I don't know. So, if I go ahead and fly outside and open this thing back up, I'll show you how it works. Now, I'm sorry if I'm too late showing this off. Oops. Because I did show this, like, talk about it a while ago. And I said I'm just going to make, like, an actual uh, public release type version first. I wouldn't really call this public release because I'm not actually satisfied with it. I'll show you why. So, of course, it opens up. And then if we fly far enough away, it will close automatically, which is now... And that's how it works. So now the problem is if I fly up to it from here, well, of course it's bouncing right now, but it won't actually open. See that like it worked in the um, my first prototype, but that's because it was small. I didn't realize that the okay. I guess I'll show you how it works now. Go shift alt twelve alt at twelve. The wonderful gravity looking thing. This is how big a gravity gen can take. My prototype, it was a small one. It c probably couldn't even fit that inside. It could fit like a small ship in, which I had to, well, I had to make it bigger. So it was kind of, I kind of had, had like a two block high um, ship. Um, so this is how big the field is. The field, in order to open the door from the front, has to reach around here. Which is why... I actually had to fly around the side in order to open it. The reason for that is when the gravity field, like see this, um, I'll start from this one. The inside, this gravity field right here, do you see? Like, don't mind this one, this is inside, it doesn't even interact with anything, just so I can walk it around. This gravity field is actually an upward force of 0.5 uh, acceleration, which is pushing this rock up, which is pulling this down. I'll go ahead and turn this off now. So, yeah, it's so black because of like, the thing I showed you with the bomb. So unnoticeable. So, this rock is. How big is it? It is. It's side. Oh. 200k. And I have experimented with much bigger ones and they simply ripped the whole thing off. So, this is a good one. 
I guess that'll make it a decent movement speed. So this gravity gen is pulling upward at a force of 0.5, and that is making it go smoothly upward and bounces a couple of times. Now what my ship does is my, the whole purpose I try to make this is that you won't have to modify your ships at all, so it can use the original gravity of only one gravity gen. Because, of course, you can like stack multiple gravity gens to open it faster and probably break stuff. But I wanted to make it where it's at where you could just normally jump and walk at a normal one new gravity gen or type power. So this one gravity gen, since it's the force of one, it will overpower the other one when it comes in contact with the rock and make it a increased power of a downward force of 0.5, which will open the door at a reasonable speed that won't explode everything. So... In the prototype, I had it small so that this field was able to reach that rock by being in the front. It was actually able to, like say this was the door of the prototype, it was actually from here. It was able to open the door so that when I was flying in, I would be not, not, eh, not have to stop when I was flying over to it. This, I can't even reach the front door. I don't, I don't think I can reach the front door by touching the door. You never know, experiments. Touch the door. Will you open for us? And the answer is no. Okay, so in order to open the door, you have to fly around the side, which will come in contact with the rock with your gravity gen on your ship. Of course, make sure you're level to it correctly so you don't fling it at the wrong direction. And if we fly over here, you should see the rock come down. There it is. So you can see the rock is coming down while pulling the tire like wall upward of course it's got to bounce because yeah it's bounce go ahead and bounce i'm wrapping it up so it'll be staying at the bottom and the way the closed door is that when i was inside i clicked the y to turn off my my um, power which is what you usually do when you park ships and stations and stuff like that it will turn off the field which will bring the, sh the rock back up which will close the door and then turn it back on, it'll stop that rock and it'll open the door back up. So that's simply how it works. Everything working perfectly except for the bouncing in. Unfortunately, the sh like the gravity fields don't reach all the way over there. So maybe in the future they will be able to in like increase the field. Maybe to like an overclock type system, like how like um, I think they were thinking of adding some sort of overclocking system for the thrusters i don't remember i know um star citizen is over having the ability to overclock thrusters so you never know maybe they will add it so if we go ahead and park this in here crash a bit park it turn off the engines it will close the doors like i repeatedly said and i think that's all for this Sorry for being a little late about it. I was just trying to, I was going through like ton, like tens of proto, yeah, prototypes, trying to get like a version that worked the best. They started off with like a prong in the center or stick center or whatever. So I went with like the bottom. So it had more control with like pushing it down, stuff like that. And also this could be near the bottom. And it did help with making the roof like, um, like smaller. So that's what the main purpose was it was for. Because before, if I had it in the center of it, it would be like, probably like half, like, yeah, like, uh, yeah, probably like half this taller, maybe, I don't know, never actually tried it, but, uh, yeah, that's it for this. If you guys want me to upload it to Workshop, I can, I really don't want to, because it's not something you should use, and you've already seen what it was, you should, like, incorporate it into your own builds. So, preferably, it's for much smaller fighters. If you do make it for something smaller than this, maybe like half the size, like around there, it should reach the um, rock. Also, I recommend putting the rock closer there, even though it might make it more bouncy, which you might not like, but it at least you should be able to reach it. So, I think that's it. If you want this on the workshop, let me know. If not, don't let me know, I guess. And hopefully you enjoyed watching. Don't forget that I'm accepting all requests for types of things to try to build. I've like got one that wants me to make a automatic drill that you can like...
like he said automatic drill i'm going to turn into like some gravity based automatic drill that can move around it's completely like controlled by gravity like no rails or anything so i'm going to work on that next or something else um so i will see you next time don't forget to rate comment subscribe and of course make sure you follow me on twitter if you want to learn about like what's going on with this stuff why it takes longer with i'm like scaling a project working on different projects um like i explain everything on my twitter or like open source type on twitter so i will see you next time